that you know the the priority of Tokyo Electric was save Tokyo Electric, then maybe save the Japanese government, and if there were anything left, save the people of Japan. And I think the priority of the Japanese government was one, save the government, two, save TEPCO, and if there was anything left, save the people of Japan. So I think that um, you know the people of Japan have been at the bottom of both priorities for both the government and Tokyo Electric. I would agree with you, too, here in the States, um, the accident is being uh, minimized by both the uh, regulators, the government, and uh, and obviously the nuclear reactor vendors. That's obscene. I can't think of any other word to say, but obscene. Uh, you know, as I look at the study from the New York Academy of Sciences on Chernobyl and compare what the Russian government did in its haste and concern, it took a while, 10 days, to get going, but it did get going, and compare that with the Japanese government what they've done. The comparisons are quite startling. Would, would you say that, Arnie? I actually think it's, it's worse because the population density in Japan is much higher than the population density in that part of, of Europe. So, yes, the Russians acted after, after the bureaucracy became aware of the magnitude of the problem. They got people out and kept people out. Mm. Um, but there weren't as many people to move. Now, here's the Japanese who uh, have more people and didn't move them. So uh, I'm really concerned about the long-term health effects of, uh, of the people uh, of northern Japan. I was on television here in the United States on CNN saying just that, you know, but women, childbearing age women, pregnant women, and children should have been moved out immediately. And, you know, we have the example of during the Blitz, Back in the 1940s, what did the English do? They moved their children out. Mm. Um, so it's not unheard of that a population would go out of their way to protect the children. And um, I think the Japanese um, uh, missed the, the opportunity and are continuing to miss the opportunity. These, um, uh, the, the, the photographs we've got of the, uh, the, the children's shoes in the Fukushima prefecture show that they're just loaded with cesium. And, uh, you know, the shoelaces, and the kids get it on their hands, and then they get it in their throats. Oh, God almighty. On and on. It's, a, it's a major concern to me is the, the, the damage they're doing to, well, the, uh, to the children of Fukushima. And, and